Hey everybody, my name is Rain Day Gaming. I go by Rain Day most of the time. I am a professional esports commentator and a YouTube creator and streamer. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I spend a lot of time gaming, uh, whether it's creating guides or things to help players improve on my YouTube channel. And in my other life, I commentate high level Apex Legends as well as various hero shooters and MOBAs in my past. Uh, and host various tournaments and events in the esports and gaming and entertainment. Everything that we, we learn as we're progressing and playing is something that we can apply to our lives. It's how to get a little bit better, a little bit more confident, maybe trust ourselves more, and deal with situations that frustrate us and turn them into positives. Oh my God, get lasered! Oh and so it's important to constantly aim up, but it's also important, I feel, to really take note of your progress too, because you don't want to have it in a vacuum you don't want to feel like you've been working so hard and there's never an end in sight. One thing I love about the gaming community is that we have opinions. Uh, it's really great to see people own who they are. And I've seen people talk about owning the distinction of who they are as their talent. And I think that's really true. I would love to see better conversations between developers and players. I, I think this is really one of those things that is so undervalued in our community. Being an individual and also having worked at a company I've actually been able to see kind of every viewpoint in my own journey and career where I'm at of what everyone's thinking. And I realized there's a disconnect. Like gamers and, and players and content creators and developers don't have the best dialogue and it can be very hyperbolic at times and it gets us nowhere. I feel like if we can develop a better way to have conversations, to give our feedback and for developers to not hastily, you know, push it aside because it's negative or throw it into the category of this person's just overly upset, but really listen to it and incorporate it into the game to make a better game for the people who love it and are passionately giving the feedback. I think that is really what it's gonna take gaming to the next level.